In this video, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite resources available for livestock feeding. I utilize this in my feeds and feeding class at a university in Northern California, but it's a broad-based database of feed information that can be utilized regionally throughout the United States and even outside of the U.S. It's a handy resource that if you're looking to get common nutrient content of a variety of feedstuffs, it can become your go-to resource. This resource is provided by the Noble Fat Research Institute and the Noble Foundation out of Oklahoma. It's a free resource. When you first log into the feed library, you will have to accept the terms of use. And once you click that button and agree to the terms, you will have access to the library. Now, the first thing is how do you get to this tool? So the first thing is going to the website. And that website is available at nobleapps.noble.org backslash feed library. You can also Google Noble Feed Library and be able to find the resource. Once you have the resource, then um, it's very simplistic to use. The, there's several ways that you can search. Generally, I'm just searching by a name, but sometimes you need a specific category of feed, whether, and that's referring to one of the feed classes, whether it's an energy feed, a protein concentrate, a roughage of some kind, vitamin, mineral, additive, whatever the case may be. You can also search for feeds by a designated protein level, whether it's greater than, less than, or equal to a specific amount, and the same for total digestible nutrients, or TDN. Either way works, and you can do those in combination, certain protein, certain TDN within a roughage if you want to. But just as a real quick example to show you what you're able to access through this resource, I'm going to start with a simple one that's grown in a lot of the United States, alfalfa hay. And one trick that I've found is sometimes it works better to type less of a word than the full word. And so depending on if, you, if spelling could be an issue, type in a partial word and see how it does. So once we input for alfalfa hay and click the search button, what you're gonna see is a lot of options. And it depends on which alfalfa you're utilizing. What you see on your screen are the feed names, which is this first category. The, the actual category of the feeds themselves, in this case, alfalfa is a roughage. You see the TDN and protein values at a glance. And it is important to note that these are all on a dry matter basis. So you're able to do a quick scan to see some basic information. However, if you are wanting to get more details, you have to do exactly that and select details. I commonly use mid-bloom alfalfa for a lot of things. So let's look at the details for that feed. And so when you access one of the feeds, you're going to just get a lot of numbers. And so you're going to see um, the first one that I have my students look for is the dry matter percentage. And that is what percent of that feed as it comes out of the field or is offered to the animal is dry matter. That's the only value on this whole table that is on an as-fed basis. And you can see that with the symbol here, it has that defined at the bottom. But you can also scan and you can get fiber measurements, fiber measurements like NDF and ADF. You can get energy measurements like TDN, net energy as well, 
as protein, minerals, whatever the case may be that you're most interested in. So you'll see a variety of data and it's depending on in my classes what the problem is I'm presenting you with. But if you're in a practical feeding scenario and you're looking for something that's at least 30% NDF, you can find that. One, there's a couple things that I do want to make a note of. And the first is dealing with um, the energy. It's a main thing. Their energy values when you deal with the net energy system, like net energy for maintenance, net energy for gain, and some feeds have net energy for lactation. What we see them labeled as, they're labeled as megacalories per pound, but really the data is presented as megacals per 100 weight or 100 pounds. So when you see this value here of 58, that's actually 58 megacalories per 100 pounds of dry matter. And so that's just something that's a little bit mislabeled. It's actually per 100 pounds. So you have to do some adjusting when you're working with the net energy data only. Everything else is accurately labeled within this system. That's it. That's how you find feeds in the Noble Feed Library. And depending on what your situation is, which nutrient group you're going to be looking up. It's worth getting to know a little bit and browsing and seeing what other feeds you can find in this system. It's handy, it's free, and available if you have an internet connection. I even save the, um, this page to my phone homepage so that I can look up feeds really quickly if I'm out in the field. Hope this helps you understand the Noble Feed Library and how you can utilize this tool.